So we're going to go ahead and talk about this same egg hip thrust. Um, obviously, we can't get super heavy with the same bag, uh, just given the shape. Um, and we're not going to spend the time doing the barbell hip thrust, which would provide the opportunity for more uh, or heavier loads. But there's some really important factors that if we coach this well, the sandbag does offer some really good feedback and get some really strong adaptation that then lays a good foundation for potentially introducing the barbell hip thrust at heavier weights later as the athlete kind of progresses. So let's go ahead and just talk some basics, okay? So let's, let's talk about it without the sandbag first. So we have these benches. Um, for most people, this will work pretty well. Um, it tends to be a little bit high, but it's what we've got to work with. And this is the case for most gyms. So we're gonna make this work. So essentially, when we position ourselves on the bench, we more or less want the bottom of the scapula on the edge of the bench. Okay, so we're not down here trying to then push because obviously you can see the bench is starting to tip already. So I would encourage starting by sitting on top, sliding down, elbows off to the side until we find the shoulder blades. And now we're in a good position. Right? You can see that my shins are vertical, my eyes are forward, my chin is tucked. And from here, I'm gonna lock this midline position in place and then drive my feet through the floor focusing on squeezing my glutes i really don't care how high the hips get right what i'm focusing on is do i feel my butt cheeks get tight and if so boom i'm done and i come back down as a single unit drive back up squeeze notice that my eyes stay uh, pointed or directed uh, right in front of me, I'm not breaking and looking up at the ceiling. If I do this, there's a really good chance that I'm going into hyperextension, which is gonna cause a lot of low back discomfort. Okay, so again, eyes forward, chin tucked, midline is tucked, and I'm gonna drive my feet through, squeeze my glutes tight, come back down, drive, squeeze, down, drive, squeeze. So that's three reps with no weight, and I can already get some feedback going on, okay? Now, with the sandbag, same story. What I would suggest is that the athlete sits on the bench, sandbag is already on the thighs, and then it's the same process. Slide down, find shoulder blades right there on the edge of the bench. Keep the bag kind of, or hands on the bag, you don't have to do anything with it, but it just gives you a good purchase. Right? So again, shins are vertical, eyes are forward, chin is tucked, I'm driving hips up, squeeze, back down, stay solid through my midline. I'm not allowing for any sort of hyperextension of my lower back. Squeeze, back down. Notice that my eyes are always facing forward, which will help keep my abs engaged and keep that midline neutral and uh, braced, right? So that's gonna be our sandbag oh. hip thrust. Um, obviously, if people need to do this at body weight with no external load, that's perfectly fine. Another really good feedback loop is adding a band around the knees skipping the sandbag, but just focusing on that external rotation, uh, utilizing the bands, that sometimes just helps people get the feeling that we're going for, uh, so that they can kind of chase that feeling going forward. All right, so that's it. Uh, let me know if you guys have questions. Thanks.